Get a gaming PC fast and easy with BLD by NZXT. Pick the performance and budget that works best for you and have a meticulously crafted rig shipped to your doorstep with a 48 hour turnaround. BLD offers the latest hardware, fair pricing, and a two year all in one warranty. So click the link below to start customizing your next gaming rig today. What's going on, animals? This is gonna be sort of a studio vlog, right? Behind the scenes, whatever you wanna call it. There are a bunch of little tasks around the office that I have been neglecting to do for the last, oh, month to 12 months out. Serious procrastination going on here. So I've got a list right here. All right, some things that need to get done today. I have to put my 7980XE back into the Elite build. I have to run an ethernet cable neatly and cleanly from our server to the switch. I have to rebuild the man versus build giveaway PC. I have to install RGB speakers on our on our little set back here and hang up the damn posters. So that's what we're doing today. If all that stuff sounds really boring to you, then you should probably stop watching this video now. But if not, then come along on my quest as I go about doing stupid chores around the office. All right, it's finally time to get this asshole back in the system. Uh, it's been like, I don't know, 10 months since I had this thing working properly. I have to be really careful, because remember, this has been delitted twice already, and uh, I, don't, I don't want it to, to pop off. I don't want the IHS to pop off, because I did not permanently reseal it back to the substrate, and I'm actually mounting it in the system with the chassis upright, which is not not great, but uh, putting this thing on its side is, is no easy task, so. Mounted, all right. I think the hardest part is done, uh, getting the CPU in there without the IHS falling off. Now I gotta put that damn, oh, where, where's the monoblock? Here it is. I probably shouldn't have kept it like that for so long, but uh, it looks fine. It's totally fine. I do need some thermal paste first. I think we got barely just enough here. All right, it's kind of awkward applying thermal paste from this position. Oh, that was not the best I've done. Let me just try to even it out. Can you guys, I'm also trying to like angle myself so you guys can see it on camera. Makes it even more difficult, but that's, that's, that's not terrible. It's a little off center, isn't it? I guess that's what I get for uh, applying it from this perspective. So let me just, I'm gonna try to like add just a tiny bit more and simultaneously move it over. Oh, it's a little goopy, a little goopy there. Getting some verge vibes. All right, hold on. Let me let me get it out here. Oh, come on. Ugh. That's actually not terrible. I do want to suck some of it up though. Just like that, just like that. Suck it, suck it good. Yeah, suck it for me. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's let's mount this sucker. Oh, you know what? Oh, I almost forgot. I actually have to place the thermal pad back onto the BRM, right over these MOSFETs, right over these mossies right here. Give me a sec. Oh boy. Oh, that's that's a stretch. The thermal pad here is not quite as sticky as it used to be. Uh, all right, I gotta do this quickly. Oh wait. Oh shit. I still have some pegs in here. Ugh, I have some standoffs from a uh, Asetek cooler that I mounted in here for testing earlier. Forgot to remove those. Thermal paste is dripping down. Thermal pad could be falling off at any minute. This is great. This is great. Okay. Yeah. Remember, this is not a tutorial. One more. One more good screw. That's all I need. Gotta really make sure that's on there. Use your fingering power. All right. So. I at this point, gotta put the fittings back in here. So for starters, I can put this guy back in. Easy peasy. Easy does it, there we go. There it is, beautiful. Oh my God, look at that GPU sag. Man, man, that is some wicked sag there, bro. Wicked sag. Okay, I think we're pretty much good to fill the loop. Do we have distilled water? Ha ha ha! Fortunately, I still have some leftover coolant from Thermaltake. In you go. Have fun. Make good choices. All right, Loop. Time to watch you bleed. All right, we've got our paper towel down there in case we have any leaks, and we are ready to go. Flip the power supply on, and uh, power. Not too shabby. Any leaks? Any leaks? Anywhere? Anyone? Anyone? No, looks like we're good. We're in good shape, my bros. All right, shall we uh, Shall we plug her in, like to the monitor, and just make sure that it's actually booting and stuff, that our temps are normal? Let's check temps. All right, test boot. Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see it. Where are you at? What's happening? I don't like the looks of this. Getting a bad vibe. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit, you see it? Oh, oh, thank God, oh, thank God. I thought maybe there was a leak I didn't see and it got on the video card or something. Oh my geez, I was, I was getting worried. Oh, it's looking good, oh, damn it. Oh, thank God, oh, thank God. Oh, I need to connect the keyboard. There you go, there you go. Ah, oh, welcome back. 
elite build. It's nice to have you here. All right, we've got media encoder ready to go. Let's go ahead and render some shit. And take a look here. It looks like we are running at four gigahertz. Here you go. 4 gigahertz on all cores. Let's give it a little bit longer, just give it a chance to warm up, and then we'll check our temps in a few minutes. All right, we are just over seven minutes into our render here. I don't know why I'm talking in a southern accent. Package temp is 82C. That is down from 104 degrees Celsius before I had deleted that chip, just FYI. So we're down over 20 degrees C uh, from that delet. And of course, popping it in the Elite build is doing it all the favors right now. So I think we can officially say that our first chore of the day is done. This is a room that doesn't get featured very often. This is where we keep our server. It's running Ryzen 7 1700, 64 gigs of DDR4 memory, which is not ECC. It's probably the only server in history that has a Trident Z RGB <laughs> modules in there. We really need to get some ECC in there. But the real, the real bread butter here is our 24 bay disk shelf with 92 terabytes of redundant storage. Look at that. Oh. It's so sexy. So this whole thing is connected by an ethernet cable that runs out of the room, all the way into the hallway, along the wall. So you can see, woo, from all the way over there. And then back around, goes under this little cabinet here, past our printer and to our switch, our 10 gigabit ethernet switch right there. So it's, it's kind of a mess. When in reality, it should really just start from the server, go up the wall in that room and then come back down where all these other cables are going. I've done this wiring myself as soon as we got into the studio, but since then I've gotten lazy and I've just been like, hey, you know, we've got a hundred foot ethernet cable. What's, what's the point? I'll do it later. I always keep saying that. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. But the time has come where later is now. I'm gonna go get a stool. I hope, you know what? Oh, that's the thing. I hope our stool is tall enough for me to actually reach to the ceiling because I'm, I'm really short and our stool is also kind of short. So let me check. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, do you think I'll be able to reach up there? Let's see. This is as far as I get. I don't think it's gonna work. Now we do have a ladder, but it's actually at our house right now. Um, and I didn't really think this video through when I was leaving the house this morning, so... And you know what really sucks is that we could have asked the maintenance crew who operates out of this building to borrow their ladder, which we've done in the past, but it's well past 6 p.m. at this point, and I know for a fact they've already gone home for the day. So, I guess I'm just gonna have to do this at another time. Looks like a vertical challenge not accepted. Alright, so remember Man vs. Build? Remember the last episode of Man vs. Build? Well, we built the system and uh, we were supposed to give it away. Unfortunately, there was something wrong with that system. The MSI motherboard, I don't know if it's the motherboard's fault or just our fault for, for handling it in such a, a rough way, but uh, it wasn't booting. It wasn't booting at all. I tried all the things and it drove me crazy, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna swap it out for a different motherboard. So that was the MSI Z370i Gaming. We're swapping it out for this uh, 370i Strix. I already did some troubleshooting with it and this board's working just fine, so everything Thing you see here this is kind of where I left off and I've been again this this was supposed to go out like weeks and weeks ago I feel really bad for the giveaway winner but I wanted to make damn sure that the PC they're getting works when it arrives so let's go ahead and uh, put this guy together There she is. Eh? 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 Yeah. Ain't she party? No, she ain't. But she'll boot. Oh, she'll boot, I tell you. In fact, let's try that out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so proof. Proof that it boots. Here we go. I gotta, I gotta turn the power supply on first. That is false alarm, power supply. K, shut up. I can see you laughing. I can see you laughing at me. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, wifey sauce. Wifey sauce is on camera. No, I said I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> Who's laughing now? Yeah, it's not so easy, camera head. <laughs> you look like a camera head. All right, turning it on. That's more like it. Fans are spinning. All right, come on. Give me that sexy splash screen. Let me see it. Show me the goods. Ugh. 
Come on. Ew. Ew. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can we can pack this up. We can pack this up now. Looks good. And uh, Wifey Sauce will ship it out to the winner. Finally. Sorry, dude. I forget your name, but I, I apologize it's taking me so long. Your system's working now, so all is good, my friend. <sighs> wow, let's move on to the next chore. So, uh, back in my new egg days, when I used to work there, there was a cool, awesome rep named Patty, who I still keep in touch with. She now works for Logitech. I believe she worked for Asus at the time, then she went over to NVIDIA. Now she's at Logitech. She follows me on Instagram. We follow each other on Instagram. It's a whole thing. And she saw a picture of my setup, you know, the setup that I usually shoot at for my videos most of the time. And uh, she was like, you know what would go really great with your setup? You know what it's missing? I said, what, Patty? What? She said, a G6, she said a, G560, she said a set of G560 speakers. And I said, I think you're right, Patty. Why don't you send me a set? So she did, that's exactly what she did. Now, I actually haven't seen any reviews on this guy, so I'm not sure how they sound, but it does have RGB lighting. So I'm sure it sounds great. All right, let's, let's set this guy up. Seems pretty straightforward. We've got a large subwoofer. Get this big bastard in here. Oh, you know what? I gotta take this terrible sticker off first. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, Logitech. Thank you for making that easy. Let's get down and dirty. Ow! I hit my head on the pole. It's fine, I'm fine. Well, that barely fits. That's what she said. Never to me, though. Zip ties are one of those things where like, you're like, oh, I'll just wrap one zip tie. And then you're like, oh, that felt so good. I'm gonna do 10 more. Yes, yes, <laughs> Now we've got two satellite speakers. They're pretty large, which makes me think they're fairly powerful. I, I looked on the box, 240 watts. That was a lot more than I was expecting. Just passing through, just passing through to you. That's not a song, but I wish it was. Time to plug in the tweeters. Oh, it's hot. They turned the AC off a long time ago in this building. And I'm feeling it. Wow. Now what's cool about the speaker system is that you can connect it to your system in three different ways. 3.5 millimeter cable, USB cable, or Bluetooth. I'm gonna go the micro USB route. So I already have one hanging down from here actually. And I'm gonna connect it from the rear. Hey oh, from the rear. We all look the same. No, we don't. That's not true. All right. Okay. I think we're ready to turn it on. Oh, so clearly the lights are reacting and stuff to the sound, light sync and all. Let's uh, let's, let's look at a YouTube video, play some musica. Wow, that actually sounds pretty good. immersed. Wifey Sauce is not amused because uh, we're here late at the office and she wants to go home. But the speakers sound great. Thanks, Logitech. Last to do item of the day is to hang up the posters. These posters were purchased by us uh, shortly after we moved into this studio over a year ago. And since then, they've literally just been standing against the wall here. We actually gotta dust them down at some point too. That's how long it's been. So finally, we're gonna hang these suckers up and wouldn't you know it, the stool is actually tall enough for me for this job in particular. So let's get her done. <laughs> Yeah. What a difference that makes to the room. It looks so much more badass in here. But, uh, hey, we got, I got, no, we, Wifey Sauce helped. We got a lot of stuff done today, and I feel like a real adult, so kudos to us. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this little tech chores video. I know it was kind of weird. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. Till next time, guys, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video.